What is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be building out an AI chatbot using N8N. Take a look at what this looks like. So in front of me, I have this chatbot down here. This is just a blank website that we're using just to showcase what this looks like. This is exclusively powered by N8N. And the best part is, is you can build this out literally probably in, I don't know, like three minutes. It's gonna be incredibly fast. So I'm just gonna type in the most generic message here, which is, hey, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna enter in my name here. I've programmed this to ask firstly for the name and then also the email. And we can do really cool things with this chatbot. So for example, I could be like, I want to talk to your team and it's gonna send me over a calendar link to book a call, right? So that's pretty, pretty uh, standard functionality, but we could take it a step further and say, please send me over an invoice. Let's say, you know, somebody comes to your website and they find a package on your website and they're just like, honestly, this looks great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm sold. And then they just want to invoice. And then all of a sudden they can ask here and it's going to literally just let the person know that the invoice has been sent. Let's take a look at my inbox here. We can see this is brand new coming in right now and we have a contract in front of us. Let's just take a look at what this looks like. Then we can simply pay straight through it and sign if that's the direction that we want to go. So in this video, we're going to be generating a chatbot that has the ability to do all of this functionality, but we're going to build it out incredibly fast. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, then stay tuned because we're going to be diving into this right freaking now. So we got two really simple workflows. The first one is going to be this AI chatbot. And essentially we have a sub agent down here and this sub agent is going to call a different workflow in an event to essentially generate these invoices and then send off those invoices directly to the user just like this, right? So that's essentially more or less what we're gonna build. Well, let's get into it right now. I'm gonna open up a fresh workflow in N8N and we're gonna create a trigger. Now, the cool thing is, is we're using the default like on chat message down here, but this doesn't just have to be used from within inside N8N. We can use this and embed it onto our website. And how we do that is by making sure that this chat is publicly available. And then we're going to select the mode to be essentially the embedded chat. And for instructions on how to embed this into our website, we can just click on the here section and um, we can head over to NPM, which is Node Package Manager. Now, usually with stuff like this, this is designed for people that are custom building websites using like something like JavaScript. And uh, the thing is, is you don't need to know how to program at all. All you need to know how to do is copy and paste this script down here. So under the installation guideline here, all we have to do is literally just copy this script. And the thing is, is we're gonna use a web builder, website builder. Now, the most popular one out there you probably heard of it, it's WordPress. And you can get started really quickly with this, but I'm gonna assume that you probably have some web builder in mind and you can use whatever it is, WordPress, Wix, Weebly, Go High Level, Lead Pages. They all can kind of do the same thing. And so what I'm gonna do just for the purposes of this tutorial is I'm going to build out this in Go High Level just because it's really easy for me to do. But the crux is still the same, like no matter what website builder you're using, you'll just add an element on the side here. And usually these website builders have the ability to add things like headlines and subheadlines and text and bullet points and buttons and all that kind of stuff. But specifically what we want to use is something like a code element. And sometimes it might be called code. Sometimes it might be HTML or JavaScript or CSS or, or some other variation of the name. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the custom code editor and we can just paste in that script that we got. So this script over here is going to be what we're pasting in here. And we're pretty much done. The only thing that we need to change is this production URL right here. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and delete this. Just make sure that you keep in the quotation marks because this is important. If you do not include this in there, <laughs> it's not gonna work properly. So we're gonna just make sure to keep that. And then we can circle back into our, um, into our chatbot here. And we just need to grab this URL here. So once we go ahead and copy that, we can head over to the JavaScript HTML builder and then paste that in here, click save, and we're pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and preview this page and let's take a look and see what that looks like. We have a blank page, but we have this chat widget down below here. And you'll notice that we actually can't chat with it yet. It just says powered by N8N, and not super helpful. And how we can get around this is we're gonna go back into our chat um, builder here. We're gonna exit off of this. We're gonna firstly save this, and then we're gonna mark it as active. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now if we circle back to our chat widget, 
we can now type messages out. But if we say something, it's gonna give us this weird code, um, <laughs> which is probably not the message that you wanna send off to clients. Not sure they'd respond very well to action, send message and session ID and all that kind of stuff. They'd be weirded out. So how we do this is we need to actually create an AI agent to respond to customer queries. And that's where the AI agent comes in. So we're gonna add in an AI agent. This out of the box looks good to me. This is going to need a chat model, memory, and tool. Now for the model, I'm just gonna use OpenAI uh, just because that's what I usually use, but you can use whatever it is you want out of the box, that looks good to me. For the memory here, we're gonna use the window buffer memory just because I want this tutorial to be nice and easy. The best solution would be to use something called a RAG system. You can think about a RAG system as just like the most advanced employee you've ever hired in your life that's trained on every single text or email or standard operating procedure or document or whatever it is, any information you have, you can train that rag system on it and then it will find a relevant answer to a query so if you know for example somebody came back here and they're like what's your average price it would ask your rag system hey what's the average price and it's going to find uh, the closest answer it can and respond accordingly just similarly to like how an employee would you know respond to that they think okay what's the average price they recall in their memory what it typically is and then answer back same kind of deal but because I want to keep this short, we're just going to use the window buffer memory. And I do have plenty of tutorials on building rag systems out in NADN as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a tool here. But just before I go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that this is pretty much done. We can refresh the page and this works out of the box. Now you have like ChatGPT or a large language model on your website. So we can just go ahead and type a message here. And uh, it's going to also give me this weird code message. And that is because I didn't save it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> save that and return back and refresh. And fingers crossed, let's hope that it works this time. Okay, it, uh, it worked this time. Hello, how can I assist you today? And then we could be like, you know, uh, ask whatever question is that we want to. Now, for the rest of this tutorial, I mean, we, we got to set up. What I want to talk about is how we can build out that freaking cool invoice generator where we can send somebody an invoice like this literally from the AI chatbot. And by the way, this is just like the tip of the iceberg because there is so much other cool things that we can do. Um, we could send it, um, I don't know, images, we could send it documents, we could uh, book meetings, we could, we could do a lot of different things with it. And you can think about like every action that you'd possibly want to take as adding a new tool here. So one tool could be generating an invoice, another tool it could be generating an image, another tool could be whatever action you want to take using the, uh, for, for, the, for the user. So let's go ahead, I'm going to go over this pretty quickly. I'm not gonna build it out step by step just because this invoice generator is, is talking about go high level. There's a million and one invoice generation software tools that you can use uh, like Panadox, Panadox Sign Now, um, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. And I'll include the blueprints down below for free if you wanna download and use it, but I'm just gonna kind of go over this at the high level. So essentially we got this secondary workflow right here. And this is how we generate these invoices. And so what's going on here is we have one executed by another workflow. What this means is that this workflow is executed by this AI agent. So we have our main workflow here. So I can title this main workflow. And then it will call this invoice workflow. And this invoice workflow could just be another tool. So we'll add call and add in workflow tool and we'll select another workflow. And that's gonna be the invoice workflow here. And so this invoice workflow is now being called, right? If we wanna generate an invoice, we use this uh, invoice generating workflow here. So we'll go ahead and title this invoice generator and title this, name this invoice generator. And the description is essentially how the AI agent knows when to, to use this tool. Call this tool, and I'm gonna call it, say call this tool when the user wants to generate an invoice. And so that's pretty much it. We just need to add in two different two different parameters here. What this means is like, if you're gonna send off an agreement just like this, you're gonna need to know the email and the person that you're sending it off to. And so what we need to do is we need to collect that information from this chat. So when somebody goes onto this, we need to collect the person's name and the email and then pass that off uh, along the uh, along the AI agent to the sub workflow 
so that we know who to send this invoice to. And so how we can do this is it's nothing fancy. We can just use AI to essentially pull out the person's name and pull out the person's email. So we need to ask the person what their information is and then grab that and then we can use that. So I'm gonna type in double curly brace here. This is just boilerplate question mark from AI and we can pass in two parameters here. The first is gonna be the key. The second is gonna be the description of the key. The key is essentially what we're trying to pull out and I'm gonna put a name. We're trying to pull out the person's name and the description of name is this is the user's uh, name. And so that looks good to me. We can copy this and we can paste it down here for the email. And similarly, we'll just change this to email. This is the user's email. Okay, awesome. So that is more or less it. And now what this is gonna do is it's going to call the secondary workflow. The second part of this is an HTTP request. What this HTTP request does is it sends information from NADN. It's sending that into Go High Level. And we're receiving this in an inbound webhook in Go High Level. I'm not gonna cover this too extensively, but essentially we can see the information here, like the person's name equals Jono, email equals Jono, Calif at gmail.com. And then the webhook URL equals this. And this webhook URL here is essentially um, what we're using. We're, we're passing this in because if we circle back to our workflow here, um, we're gonna wait until that invoice is generated. So what, how we can make sure we wait for it is by using this execution.resume URL. What this is practically doing is we're generating some, ran, uh, some, some URL uh, automatically. This is not us doing this. This is NADN doing it out of the box. And when we send data back to this webhook URL, then it will resume the workflow. So it's going to wait until that is done. Because if we didn't do that, it would fire this off. And then it would immediately finish the workflow without getting that URL if we wanted to send it back in the chatbot. So we're going to wait for this to be done, wait for the invoice to be generated. Then we're going to receive the information and then we're going to send a message back to the client using the chatbot. And so what that looks like in Go High Level is just two steps. The first step is we have the trigger here. We're receiving information. We're going to create a contact and Go High Level. And then we can create like an invoice number here and we can send the invoice. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then from the second part in Go High Level is when that invoice has been created, this is a second workflow, then we're gonna send that webhook back. And this is going to be essentially this, this URL here, contact that website, is the URL that we sent here, which is the resume URL. So once we send this back, it's gonna be received here and it's gonna continue forward with the workflow. So in a nutshell, when the invoice has been generated, we're gonna resume with this workflow here and then send it back to the person. And so that is in a nutshell what's going on here. And these blueprints will be down below for free if you guys do decide that you want to use this. So what we can do is we can go ahead and test this out now that we've gone through it. The only other thing that I wanna do is I just wanna add in a system prompt into this main AI agent. So we'll go to the add options and system message here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pull in the other prompt and that way it's just gonna speed up uh, the time required to kind of go through this. Okay, so this is the prompt. Let's kind of go through this together. Essentially, I'm just providing some context here. You're an AI chat bot assisting users on a website. Follow these instructions carefully. And we kind of segment this prompt down into two sections here, which is the tool section and then the rules section. We just have one tool for now, but of course you could add on as many of these tools as you wanted to, right? We could add on a tool for essentially um, sending out invoices or creating images or creating appointments or whatever the case may be. We're gonna circle back into this, um, into this system message, but essentially we have one tool for generating the invoice and we're just providing additional context here. So you must have the user's email and name before generating the invoice and only call this tool if the user asks for you to send it. We don't want it to just automatically send off as soon as we get that person's email and first name. And so the rules here are just essentially going through what to expect. So after generating an invoice, please make sure to send that invoice back to the user. Um, 
and this is just essentially meaning like, you know, don't just say, hey, we've generated the invoice. Actually, make sure to give them that link, right? And uh, we're just letting it know where to find that link. And we're giving an example of what that link looks like. And then, uh, and this is just so that it can easily reference that particular invoice. And so past that, we're just going to tell it how to start the conversation by, first of all, asking for the user's name, email, and ask them how it can help. And then finally, um, just a couple more details. I just want to make sure that we're not like asking this all at the same time. We're just separating this out into multiple messages. If they want to book an appointment, we have an appointment booking widget here. And uh, yeah, just reinforcing that the invoice generator tool is um, only called um, if the user wants to generate an invoice and not just randomly being called for no reason. Okay, so that looks good to me. We'll go ahead and save this and we can come into our, our particular um, chatbot here. And so I'm going to open up the chat widget here and get started. I'm going to first of all just say, hey, and uh, <laughs> give it my name here and then enter in my email address. And I'm going to essentially ask it to send me off an invoice. Please send me off an invoice. And this is going to send it to my email, of course, but it's also going to include it in this link here. So if we open this up, we can take a look and see that our invoice has now been processed and it is now being successfully sent off to the user. And so this is just a very uh, easy way to create a chatbot using NADN that you can put on your website in a matter of a couple minutes and then supercharge that with whatever functionality it is that you want to offer your client base with. This could be for lead generation, sending off invoices or contracts. It could also be for things like customer service. I mean, the options are essentially endless. You just need to add an additional tool every single time you wanna add something new. And so obviously it's really powerful stuff and the cool thing is you can get started very quickly in just a matter of freaking minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want additional help um, or just access to uh, asking me questions or additional course content or blueprints, you can head over to my school community here. And we have about 186 members and we launched quite a few, like a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, if you, if you guys ever get stuck with this kind of stuff, need help, feel free to sign up here and uh, re would really be awesome to see you inside. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found value in this. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.